Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Twin Flame Tarot. So we're doing the strength card today, beautiful card, great energy. So we're going to look at the card together and then we're going to talk about the other cards and put it all together. So let's see what the strength card wants you to know. So let's look at the strength card together. Another absolutely beautiful card, a great energy Again, you can see in this deck, we've got the number eight in Roman numeral. So it's V111. Now, again, the V is connected with change and the 111 about belief. So the big message that's coming through with that number is to believe in your own power, to take back your power, which is the energy of the chariot. But with the strength card, it's about believing that the power is within. And it really is. The number eight is also a number about abundance and manifestation and creating the life that you desire, the life that you want. And you can see on the lady there, she's got that beautiful infinity symbol above her head, kind of above that little kind of crown she's wearing. It's a beautiful, perfect number eight if you look at it that way. Okay, so number eight energy, which is the symbol of abundance and power. But this is also reminding you where your power and your strength truly comes from. Because yes, it comes from within, but strength comes from above. It comes from your connection with source because you are an infinite being. And that's what that infinity symbol there or the number eight is saying to you. Remember where you come from, that you are walking around the earth and you are of the earth but you are not of the earth you are a spiritual being who's come into this earth body into this earth plane to have a human experience so you will always receive your power from above your connection with heaven with the angels with the creator with the universe with source whoever you believe in whoever you connect with that's where your energy is still coming from and you have the power at all times to connect with that energy you can also see that she's wearing that beautiful white flowing dress so again it's about being able to go with the flow and to learn the lessons and to trust the journey and the symbol of the lion connected with leo energy which is also about the lion's gate portal. So it can be a symbol too about changes coming around August time and around the lion's gate. But the lion is a great symbol of kind of spiritual maturity, the way that we grow and learn on this journey, the way we become strong through the dark times and the sadness, we grow and learn what doesn't kill us, as they say, makes us stronger. So it's about how we learn. We learn to kind of respond with love instead of reacting with fear. And that's also what I'm seeing she's doing there. She's holding the lion's mouth kind of shut. Or you could see it as she's nurturing the lion. But she's helping the lion to have patience, to process, to observe, to take control and to overcome the fears and the ego. So that the lion doesn't react and react in fear, may be a bit defensive, may lash out. We learn to handle our emotions and we learn this from within. So the lion is also this great symbol of courage and, you know, power and, you know, strength and inspiration, but also a great symbol to have compassion and to know that true strength is the strength that comes from within, how we handle a situation, when we have empathy and kindness and when we forgive and when we show the fruits of our spirit and we are very giving and loving and generous and kind, that's the true strength within because love always conquers fear. So it's showing you in this card that the strength that you have is to show the way to lead the way, to be an example of love and of light. And that will open doors, it will move mountains and it will create change. Very beautiful. So ultimately, the, the strength card is about the power within you. It's about the energy of overcoming fear. Think about the lion 
in The Wizard of Oz. And I haven't watched that for a long, long time. I need to rewatch it. But he's a cowardly lion. And it's really Dorothy who gives him his strength because she helps him to know who he is. She helps him to remember who he truly is. And she also gives him the strength to see himself for who he can be. So she helps him to regain his courage and his bravery and his dignity by remembering his truth. And he may need a, a heart or whatever it is the lion needs. I think he needs the heart to, to be brave or his strength to be brave or whatever it is. And he gets that, or he thinks he's going to get that from the wizard, but it's from within. He gets it from source. You have the power now to be strong in your connection, to be strong in your belief about this connection, to take back your power. You have all the strength you need to change and to bring about what you desire. So when I'm tapping in with this intuitively, I'm seeing the lady as the divine feminine and the lion as the divine masculine. And along the way, we go through both energies again so we feel strong and we feel our connection with source which is what this lady in the card is doing knowing that she is an infinite being that she is eternal and spiritual and you know she's she's forever connected but the lion is also connected with how we overcome the challenges and the fears and the struggles and we understand that we are bigger than any trigger and tougher than any challenge and our power comes from our spiritual strength and our emotional strength not just our physical strength so it's how we get stronger within our body temple it's how we get stronger in our belief system so we see with the eyes of love not fear it's how we harness our energy and we give out the compassion and the kindness and the love it's how we are patient with our lives and patient with others and our twin it's how we gain kindness through the struggles that we go through. It's how we become very flexible with things and we adapt to things. And we know that spiritual truth is that we can do this, that we can achieve what we've come here to achieve and what we've come here to do. So really it's about gaining inspiration and power from each other and from heaven and all the wisdom you receive. And Another example would be Aslan in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. You know, Aslan, Aslan is the king and the lion is the king, the king of the jungle. And this is about you being the king or queen of your journey, taking control. So Aslan is very strong, powerful, a bit scary, you know, a bit overwhelming, overpowering. You know, he holds the, the world in his hands and his followers listen to him. So he is also a divine leader. But when he needs to be, he's very loving and kind and gentle. And he also shows his vulnerability and his vulnerable side to the girls, you know, the children, Lucy and Susan, because he's not afraid of showing that because he knows that vulnerability is not a weakness. It's a strength. So he shows that kind, that side of himself where he's afraid of what's next. He's He's not sure of, the, of, you know, what's coming. He's that fear of the unknown. And he's not afraid to show that either. So strength is also when we go through fear, but we know that we, we aren't afraid of that fear. We overcome that fear. We remember who we are. So it's about knowing that you are an infinite being, that you have an infinite connection with source that helps you to find the strength within you to handle what's going on. And then you can create the life of your dreams and bring in abundance, knowing that abundance isn't just about material gain or finances and money. It's about joy, happiness, love, health, vibrancy, feeling good, feeling in control, feeling at peace. So we turn with the strength card from maybe the cowardly lion into the strong lion who's an inspiration to others and a leader. And if you feel this in the reverse position or if you're feeling that, you know, this is what needs to be gained right now, you know, if you see your divine masculine as a coward or you see them as you know, they're not standing up for what they believe in or they're not doing what they've come here to do. Give them time. 
be very patient, be very loving towards them because they are finding that strength within. They may be feeling weak. They may be feeling like they can't do this, that they haven't got the energy. They're not strong enough, but they have it all within them. And all they have to do is find their connection with source because they are an infinite being just like you. So when they go through those struggles, divine feminine, and when they go through those moments of weakness, the best thing that you can do is send them your light because your light gives them power. It guides them home. They're, your light is like the warmth of the sun and the sun is power. It gives them power. So your light leads them. Your light guides them. Your light gives them the emotional, the spiritual and the physical strength that they need to take control of their life, to find their courage, to find their bravery, to find their strength, to overcome their fears. What they don't need is more fear or pressure or ridicule. They need compassion, love, and most importantly, forgiveness to carry on. So the strength card is also a great sign that when we forgive, we heal, forgive the past, look forward fearlessly. And the strength card is also connected with the energy of Archangel Michael, giving us the strength to carry on, saying to us in those moments of weakness, get up warrior, get up soldier, you can do this because I've got you. So it's also remembering that you were never alone and that you are right by each other's side because you are eternal beings, because you are twin flames, because you are eternal. And the beautiful green is what you learn on the earth plane. You know, you've got that beautiful green land with trees and, you know, the, the grass. And it's also showing you that you can handle whatever comes your way. Whatever you experience in your earthly realm, in your earthly reality, you can handle it because you have all the energy of the light and the sun within you. And Leo energy is action energy, fire. So it's about taking control and moving ahead and remembering that you have the power to overcome anything in your life. And also, I love the fact that we've got the lion because a cat is like a little mini lion. And a cat is my spirit animal. I love cats. So it's also remembering that even when you go through your dark times and you don't feel strong, you may feel like a cat, but you are really a lion. And all the power and all the determination, all the motivation, everything you need is right within. All you have to do is tap in with that, connect with source, remember who you are, and you'll receive everything you need. So this is moving into the energy of the fruit of the spirit because that's where the true strength is. The strength is in the compassion that you have for others, the kindness that you share around, the way you forgive others and heal. And you don't need to forget what's happened, but you definitely need to forgive what's happened. It heals you. It's the way you are patient and the way you are generous and the way you feel and see the world. So it really is about knowing that you can do this, you can achieve anything and you can handle your dreams. And when we get the strength card, it's also thinking, how would the person that you see as a leader or you see as your strength handle this? You know, that could be a guru to you. It could be someone in the light and in the public eye. It could be a family member. You know, maybe your mother or your father is your muse and you look at them or you think of them if they've passed over and think, how would they deal with this? How would Jesus handle this? When I'm connecting with this too, I'm also feeling the energy of Jesus. The energy of Jesus that Jesus came here to show love, to be in the fruit of the spirit and to give love and help others to learn to love and to learn to have faith in love and the love of the creator. So it's also about knowing that you have a connection with so much more than just what's going on in your physical world. You can do this. You can have that, you, this. You can be this. You just have to remember your power and also to connect with the oneself, your angels, and to go with it. But it's ultimately the power of the love and the strength and the guidance that the feminine and masculine give to each other. That your masculine and their ways and the way they act sometimes helps you to find your, your strength within yourself, your kindness and your patience. 
and you allow your masculine to make changes that they may have always been guided to take. So it's also being strong enough to make changes, being inspired to make changes, to be amused, to be a leader, to remember who you are and to take control of your life. Very beautiful. Very beautiful energy with the strength card. Very, very powerful. The energy of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And the way that the masculine is your greatest teacher. And you are there. So you teach each other strength. You know, the things that your masculine does to you that really trigger you and wind you up. Help you to find your faith and your strength in God. And your strength in yourself. And the strength of the connection. The power of the bonds. So if you want one word for this card, strength, what is it? It's power. It's finding your divine power, finding your light, finding your connection with angels, with spirit, with source, knowing who you are, knowing that you can have, be and do whatever you desire when you believe it. Because when you believe it, you can achieve it. And that's what the number 111 means. It means believe. Believe in who you are. Remember your truth and your light. And the strength is given to you from heaven says you are tougher than any challenge there is facing you and that's so true so it's not about physical strength even though that helps sometimes it's about spiritual strength emotional strength being strong enough to handle what you're going through being strong enough to get through this and that power comes from above and a great example of this is when we need to get rid of something out of our lives that's toxic like an addiction and I know firsthand because in my 20s, and I'm 45 now, as I record this in real time, but in my 20s, I was a big drinker and a big smoker. And I used to drink lots of caffeine. And, you know, it wasn't serving me, it wasn't good for me. So I tried to give these things up by myself and I hadn't got the strength. So I called on heaven and they gave me the strength to quit those addictions. And I quit them. And I quit those when I was 30 and it's 15 years later and I don't even crave them. Not even at Christmas. I don't even think, oh, I'd love to have a drink at Christmas. I've got no desire to pour myself anything alcoholic or have a cigarette or anything of those or have caffeine. I'd rather go without. So this is you finding the strength within from a book. So sometimes we need that support from heaven because we can't do it on our own. We just aren't strong enough because we are, we have an ego. Even though we are a spiritual infinite being that's always connected with God, that's always connected with source, we've come into an earth body to learn and grow. And that earth body has an ego and the ego creates all the fear and the drama. So we learn to overcome it. They're giving me fear now. Fear is connected with stress and anxiety. And they always show it to me channeled as burpee energy because it comes up from deep within you. Sometimes you don't even know it's there and then it creeps up on you and it creates scary feelings. So it's overcoming the ego. And it was a great, um, you know, kind of experience to me. I was watching a film over Christmas time, Doctor Strange. And the guru in that, she's an enlightened lady, you know, she's kind of, she connects with Buddha and, she, you know, meditation and, you know, raising your vibration, all those things. And she says to Dr. Strange, we never lose our demons, we just learn to overcome them. And it's so true. You know, we have this ego, this fear, which is really like the devil that sits on your shoulder whispering all the fear about the what ifs of the future or the, you know, the what ifs of the past. And we take control back by saying, well, you know, I'm in the now, I'm safe, so what? So we take back our power. So we overcome the ego, we never lose it, but we learn to overcome it by becoming the observer of things. And when something seems triggering to us or a challenge or it's testing us, we say, wow, isn't that interesting? What is that teaching me? How is that helping me to operate through love and light? How is that helping me to find the fruit of the spirit within me? How can I become more flexible and patient and calm within this situation? So the energy is you are bigger than any trigger and you are tougher than any challenge. So the real strength is learning to not take anything personally 
and understanding that everything that happens to you on this this journey on this earthly realm is happening for you so you may see it as oh no it's happening to me but it's happening for you for your growth so you learn that you learn to overcome the fear to see things from a much higher point of view you realize that everything that's happening is actually neutral it's the way you see it that makes it good or bad that puts the positive spin on it or the negative spin on it that's your choice and you have that choice in every moment so instead of rushing in and feeling bad about something rise up and think how is this helping me what am i learning from this when i get triggered when i'm tested what comes out of me is it goodness and love and compassion or is it bitterness and anger so you learn to control your thoughts and realize that true strength is from your own willpower and overcoming things in a much more beautiful way so for the masculine we'll start with the masculine we've got i am finding the strength to change so the masculine has to find the strength to change on this journey it's so beautiful because the feminine i gain power from above so what we learn is as a divine feminine we have to learn to surrender and trust the divine masculine to find the strength to make the changes instead of trying to help them all the time and you know help them to to do it this way or that way or to take control we learn as a divine feminine to let go of control and the masculine teaches you that when they're dragging the feet taking the time even now in union like george my divine masculine is still teaching me to surrender and still teaching me to not control things because you know my ego starts going and i start getting agitated if i ask him to put the rubbish out and he doesn't do it straight away because i want it done there and then on my terms or in my way and he doesn't do it my way he's saying liz i'll do it i'll do it when i'm ready to do it not before you can force me and push me and make me but i won't i'll do it when i'm ready and that's what your masculine is teaching you so that's what he's saying i'll do it when i'm ready not to hurt you or cause you any more stress but because that will be the right time and i'll be healed then i'll be stronger then i'll be ready then so he's saying to you an action message again remember i am i am finding the strength to change and you're realizing that your power to handle it while he's making the changes or your power to achieve what you desire in your life comes to you from above and this reminds me as well as i have to give you these scenarios when they pop in my mind in jesus christ superstar which is one of my favorite musicals there's the in that and obviously you know it's about also jesus life and you know what went on so when he goes to pilot okay to pontius pilot and pilot saying to him you know talk to me and jesus won't talk to him okay he's saying talk to me tell me you know what you want me to do he's saying talk to me he says i have the power to stop this i have the power to stop this and jesus says you know you don't he say he says it in a different way but he pretty much says the power is from above you don't have that power god does so he's saying all the power comes from above and sometimes we feel like god's forgotten us you know we feel like we're forgotten on this journey we feel like we're being punished in some way we feel like the universe is working against us sometimes but it's working for us because sometimes the the struggle we go through those triggers those challenges those obstacles happen to grow us and that's the way god is loving us by giving us those challenges to overcome by giving us those triggers to face by giving us those lessons in which are blessings in disguise it's it's happening and he's giving it to us because he loves us so much but we don't see it that way because we're seeing it in pain and struggle and because we we're demanding of it now so we're being reminded to remember what's in the bible in first corinthians and i've got it tattooed on me okay love is patient love is kind love does not demand its own way and that's where the strength is in knowing that 
that this is an unconditional love that can't be forced and it can't be, you know, commanded. It has to be trusted and that's why it's guided. So remember, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You can open a door, but you can't make someone walk through it. You can push them through it, but they're not going to appreciate that. They're going to resent you for that. So it's about the strength comes from being patient, being calm, being forgiving, being loving, being kind and tapping in with compassion and empathy and understanding because I can guarantee you everything you learn along the way is for your mission, is for your purpose so you can help others to understand and to get through it and to achieve things too. So the strength comes from within. So it's also about the way the masculine teaches the feminine strength and the way the feminine teaches the masculine strength because the masculine is teaching you to let go of ego and to release the need for it now and to let go of control and to surrender and you give the masculine the power of your light which gives them the courage, bravery and strength to make changes to be with you in union and to change their physical life and world so they can become the leader and the king and the emperor that they were born to be. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.